media the media here the media cache data database here by default the location in your computer you can click here to change skip or the clean button you can clean to clean your database we're working on adobe premium for they save some cache data file in your computer for playback and they will see in the location in here if you want to clean them that's no problem and also as you see use the scratch this panel to change the location of the media cache that's in here here you can change it first i show you here and here you can enable the variable the display media title in source freeway or in our point show media or set and by default they have uh, a little check it and i cannot show you what this means because i don't know but i think this that's okay i don't need to know again okay and here for the scratch this this panel and for the capture video you can when you open the capture panel and you're going to capture your video and or uh, just just the audio or video or both the video and and all audio together you can select the location for them to capture for example if uh, in here same first same as project like the one in here my project or execute or here my execute in here so when i capture my video they will capture the audio and video in here same as project in here and here Adobe Premiere Pro project this is the path, the location. Um, uh, if you want, you can change to my document in here. In my computer, my document is in here. So when I capture, uh, when I select as a uh, capture the video to the location to my document folder in my computer system, they are safe in here. Same thing, so for the audio and capture the audio. And if you want to select the customize and click browser to go to the location. But any any selection here, you just click here, that's mean that's mean you going to make customer location. Like the one you from any here, you just click here, that's mean you are going to Set a specific location. For example, you if you want, you can set a location, uh, a fast hard disk for capturing your video to avoid some job fake, right? Like the one you can select the location, or you can make a make a new folder and put them to for the location for the for capture your video. And for example. I select in here my in I will capture my video audio in this location so I select in here same thing this one in here so they both capture the video and audio in my driver D hard disk D and the location in Adobe Premiere Pro Media File this uh, folder in my computer here so you will capture my I will capture the video and audio in this location and for the video preview audio preview that means you preview your sequence your sequence in here like the one in here when you when you run what area when your sequence they will run a movie file in your computer save it in your computer and play it back for real time like the one in here this is the location here this is the location the rendering uh, preview file is safe in here because for from the scratch disk setting here for the video preview same as project audio preview same as project that's mean my project is saved in Adobe Premiere Pro project folder and it will create a, from from this folder here Premiere Pro project my project saved in here same as project and it create a, a folder called Adobe Premiere Pro preview file 
is the folder and from the name of Saikuji here is the video file the movie file they complete a they render as a movie file in here for the real-time playback on my sequence this is the location same thing you can select another location anywhere but not on a not on a network hard disk in your computer another one you you can select any physical uh, hard disk in your local uh, hard disk in your computer and as default okay let's get and for the medicash same thing you say medicash you can change it in here by default same as project in here that's mean that's uh, when you're working on adobe premiere pro for example you import some media file so uh, import a video like the one in here uh, import an audio when the audio the sample rate is not the same bit for the audio not the same and uh, not the same as your project setting like in my project setting is a uh, NTSC DV NTSC the for them so the audio in 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 oh here like uh, this one the audio this uh this uh quick time movie the audio is mono and the sample sample ray I don't know how is the sample ray but I know that it's not the same as my project for the audio so when I import it okay here on the lower right corner here they were confirming rml.mov confirming the audio that's mean you right click and select property you will see in here the source audio formats uh, like the one here 22.05 kilohertz and my project audio format is 48 kilohertz and 32 bit floating point for the uh, bit for the audio so they will confirm confirm the audio into 48 kilohertz and 32 bit floating point into as the project audio setting this will they were confirming the audio into the location here made it cache file as I sell it in sell it in here as a media cache same as project this is the location my project here same as project you will create a media cache file folder here and in here MoxiQG project like this this they will confirm the audio uh, here the CFA file that's mean confirm audio file and PA key file is bit that's for the waveform display his file display the waveform on my on my timeline on my sequence for the waveform display and here is the audio file confirm audio so you see the size in here so Adobe Premiere Pro will use this audio file for both for editing and for exporting. No matter how is the the original file, the audio in here, they just confirm the audio from the clip here. This is not the same as my project into the into a confirm audio for editing and for exporting here. So once again the PA tape pitch file is for waveform display so you, you, without this uh, file you cannot display the waveform if you delete it Adobe Premiere will regenerate the pitch file for the waveform display for the DVD encoding when you directly encode and uh, burn a DVD disk from your uh, sequence your sequence cannot as a AVI file or editing sequence it cannot burn it it have to encode your uh, sequence into a mpg2 format and uh, for the audio is uh, the v digital or uh, mpg audio so before they can burn it into a dvd disc and 
This is the location to encode, encode your sequence before you can burn into a DVD and this is the location encoder by this the location here here they have nothing right because I have not not burned a DVD disk from the sequence so they just create a create a folder encoder file mosaicu PRPROMJ folder here and nothing in here once again I have not burned a DVD disk from this uh, this sequence even then if you burn a, uh, uh, burn a DVD disk they generate the mpg2 file for the video and audio file in here in this location and burn it into a DVD disk after burning the DVD disk they will delete it 